Hello dear children, I hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to read a new story about a little boy Peter. Peter's grandfather warned him about a wolf that lived in the dark forest. He asked Peter not to go into the forest, but Peter did not listen to his grandfather. Let us read the story and find out what happened to Peter when he went into the forest. Peter and the Wolf Illustrated by Millie Tegel Publishers Ladybird Peter and his grandfather lived next to a beautiful meadow. Next to the meadow, there was a dark forest and in the middle of the forest, there lived a hungry wolf. Stay in the garden, Peter, said Grandfather. Never go into the meadow on your own. But why not, said Peter. There is a hungry wolf in the dark forest, said Grandfather. He could come creeping into the meadow and eat you up. Peter looked over the garden wall. The meadow looked very beautiful. A little red bird flew up to a big tree. Peter called the bird. Why don't you come and play in the meadow? Peter climbed over the garden wall and went into the meadow. There was a pond in the middle of the meadow. A duck waddled past Peter. <coughs> then she jumped into the pond and swam away. The little red bird flew down to the duck. Come back, she said to the duck. What a funny walk. Why don't you fly like me? I don't want to fly like you said the duck. Why don't you swim like me? <coughs> the two birds were very cross with one another and they made a lot of noise. Suddenly, Peter saw a cat come creeping towards the birds. Look out! called Peter. The cat will catch you! At once the little red bird flew up to the top of the big tree and the duck swam to the middle of the pond. Just then, Peter's grandfather came into the garden. He looked over the wall and saw Peter in the meadow. He was very cross with him. Come back at once, Peter, said grandfather. So Peter climbed over the wall and went back into the garden with his grandfather. Suddenly, the wolf came creeping out of the forest. He saw the little red bird, the duck and the cat. He was so hungry that he wanted to eat them all. The cat climbed to the very top of the tree where the little red bird was sitting. The two of them waited to see what would happen next. The frightened duck jumped out of the pond. She waddled off as fast as she could. But the hungry wolf ran faster and caught her in his big mouth. Then the wolf walked round and round the tree where the cat and the little red bird were sitting. The hungry wolf looked up at them. They were very frightened. Peter found a very long rope and climbed on top of the garden wall. Fly around the wolf's head, he called out to the little red bird. Make him dizzy, but stay away from his big mouth. The little red bird flew round and round the wolf's head. The hungry wolf tried to catch the little red bird, but after a time, he was very dizzy. Peter climbed up the big tree. 
Then he let the rope down and caught the wolf by the tail. The wolf jumped up and down and tried to get away, but Peter held on to the rope. Just then, Grandfather saw Peter sitting in the tree. What are you doing up there? He called. I've got the wolf by the tail, said Peter. Look! Suddenly, hunters came into the meadow looking for the wolf. Here he is, said Peter. Take him away. The hunters took the wolf to another forest, a very long way away from Peter and his grandfather, the cat and the little red bird. So Peter's grandfather then let him play in the beautiful meadow with the little red bird and the cat. The end. I hope children you enjoyed this beautiful story with beautiful illustrations. You know children, we should always listen to our elders. Although Peter caught wolf all by himself, but it was very very risky. So you should always listen to your elders. If you like the story, do like it, share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. We'll be back with another story soon. Until then, bye bye. Take care.